Hello Libra. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Happy weekend. Um, so you want a soulmate reading for November? We're gonna do that, whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not. Uh, first part of the video, we're gonna ask what's coming towards you, Libra. Would you be dealing with facing how to best handle it for your highest good? And second part of this video, we're gonna ask about your soulmate whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, especially in the month of November. What they up to, what they feeling towards you, and what they thinking. So what they thinking and feeling, especially in relation to you, Libra, to see where you stand with them. Let's see. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra. For Libra's highest good, please universe what's coming towards libra what will libra be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good what is coming towards libra oh one extra wants to come out extra message high priestess wow so silence no communication this is you walking away from toxic connections you feel it's been toxic for you you're walking away from anything that's toxic in your life you know that you deserve good positive things positive situations positive people in your life this is you concentrating on your spirituality growing uh learning things this is beautiful connection with the divine understanding that things are happening for a reason Wow. So, yeah, so there are some annoying people at your job. Uh, people who have power struggles. So <clears throat> be careful not to get in the way. If, if there are people at your job that uh, you may not be aware because some of those people are of very high positions that are backstabbing each other. Um, so the employees, other employees will not be aware maybe sometimes they will be but most of the time will not be aware what's going on there are power struggles fights people trying to get each other fired at your job <clears throat> so you already know your intuition you have great intuition libra your intuition will tell you who they are and who to watch out for the best way to handle work or business is to keep your private life just that private and don't uh, allow people to drag you into gossip. Um, yeah. Wow. Let's see. My goodness. So problems with communication with your soulmate. Hmm. Problems with communication. A lot of you are dealing with Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Universe, please show us what is coming towards Libra, especially in the month of November. What will Libra be dealing with facing? And in a few minutes, we're going to ask about your soulmate. This is you. Some of you work for a company that's very big, well-known. <clears throat> wow. Um, you walked away uh, from uh, something that is feeling toxic to you. Some of you are in a relationship where there's a child and you have a hard time walking away because of that child. Walking away from your spouse or your significant other because of the child or children. <clears throat> yeah. So this is you not giving up um, on your soulmate relationship fully but at the same time you don't want to fight you don't want to argue yeah you're doing well for yourself when it comes to your job business you're doing well for yourself you are viewed as somebody who is a diligent worker no matter what your position is this is you having wisdom so you have a lot of wisdom libra with this combination of energies, High Priestess, the Hierophant, and the Hermit. 
you have a lot of wisdom. You internalizing a lot of things. You are um, concentrating right now on yourself. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo again showing up here. This is you taking care of business, finances, your well-being. Yeah. So there's some kind of discord showing up between you and your soulmate. Problems with communication, heartbreak showing up here. You guys are not facing each other, but you are unable to let them go completely. At this time, at least. There's somebody at your job. It's a woman that likes to control things. Let me see. Let me see how she is towards you. Oh, yeah, I don't like her. No, hell no. Be careful, Libra. There's a woman at your job. Yeah, look at this, the tower. Uh, but she's creating karma for herself. This woman is vicious. It's a woman for sure. Could be any sign whatsoever. She got the devil energy and spycraft energy uh, page of uh, sorts. She likes to spy on people and sabotage people's jobs, get people in trouble, get people fired, get people written up. Be very careful with this nasty woman, disgusting energy she has. There's a lot of drama going on at your job that most of it you're not aware of. So the best way to handle this, honestly, is to just go to do your work. Don't discuss anything private. Don't allow people to drag you into their drama, gossip. Don't take sides and go home. This woman here is disgusting. She's trying to set people up on purpose. She is very nasty, vindictive individual with toxic energy. She likes to control things, manipulate things. She's a miserable person by nature, so she wants to create misery for everybody else around her. Ooh, she's nasty. Yeah. Your intuition, your instinct will tell you who she is. It's definitely a woman, not a man. Mm -hmm. A lot of power struggle at your job, not between you and anybody, but between other people. And she is like the biggest chaos in that place, wherever it is you work. She creates the most chaos and likes to get people in trouble, likes to sabotage things. So she's creating karma for herself. <clears throat> yeah, just keep away from her. Uh, your intuition will tell you who it is. Oh, the tower again. <clears throat> but uh, if you can't think of who it is, uh, next time you see her face to face, you will know. It will click right away. Yeah, look at this. The tower with... Uh, company where you work so um, there's some kind of chaos going on at the place where you work for most of you you work at a big place that's known wow a lot of drama going on chaos at your workplace universe please step in show very clear and important messages wow I didn't expect that to show up universe what's coming towards Libra what will Libra be dealing with facing yeah, this is you wanting to be happy, uh, wanting joy, communication showing up here, unexpected communication coming. Yeah, uh, something, some changes to do with your job, but for the better, maybe a raise, promotion, maybe another job coming up for you. Yeah, this is you being very, there's something heavily weighing on your mind. It may not be about your soulmate or job. Something that you are awaiting to get to get results on something and you worry. Remember, Libra, whatever is meant to happen ultimately will happen. So if it's something beyond your control individually, don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about something that is beyond your control. There's no need to worry about it. This also shows with your job where you are, you, you know that you can't trust people there. You know they fake, phony, instigators, troublemakers. Uh, so you know who to trust, who not to trust. Yeah, just continue being cautious, careful. You're going to be just fine. 
Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra. For Libra's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Libra. The soulmate of Libra. What is going on with the soulmate of Libra? And how is the soulmate of Libra currently relating to Libra, especially emotionally? And what's on their mind? Temperance, so waiting to see what happens. A lot of you are dealing with Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hmm. This person is thinking about you, I would say, every single day. Very emotional about you, emotional towards you, loving towards you. They love you. Uh, past life history, so you know them on a soul level from other lifetimes. Yeah, they're waiting to see what you do. What you do, what you say, if you're going to communicate. Universe, how is the soulmate of Libra currently relating to Libra, especially in the month of November? And what's on the soulmate's mind? This person does, is not... Uh, it looks here like this person likes to win at all costs. They, they can be spiteful. They can be vengeful. They can be vicious with their words when they get upset. They want a new beginning. But it looks like they want a new beginning on their terms. They do love you, though. Yeah, they do love you, genuinely. Uh, the sun, the best energy in the whole deck. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Look at this. So it was toxic. It was unstable. Yeah. The tower showing up here. This person is waiting to see if you do anything, if you say anything, if you reach out. So this person wants you back, but on their terms. So this person is stubborn, showing up here. But they do want to fight for you. Yeah, they view you as solid relationship they would like to have. Yeah, they have a wish. So this person wants you in their life. Ooh, I don't like this. This is deceit. Seven of Swords. This person is toxic. Um, yeah, they are toxic. Yeah, um, <clears throat> hmm, stubborn, toxic. Uh, so they want this, they want to have you, but uh, they want to do things their way. Let me clarify this. This person is checking up on you through your job. Or business yeah they can be very cold emotionally they can detach themselves emotionally very easily a lot of you are dealing with Taurus Virgo Aquarius Libra Gemini hmm let me see more 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 please show us more for Libra's highest good oh the tower Major revelation of some kind of information coming through, something you are waiting to hear. So it's coming soon, maybe next month. Yeah, because this is November reading. So next month you'll find out some important information about something that you're waiting, uh, something that you're waiting on. And you're not sure if it's going to go left or right, A or B, up or down. You're strong. You're waiting for some kind of um, important results or answer. Um, and you have no choice but to wait. So November is going to be the month when you're going to find it out. No matter what the results will be that you're waiting on or answer, whatever it is you're thinking of that's so uh, weighing so heavily on your mind, it's, it's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. So the results you need to accept 
whether you're going to like them or not, you're going to need to accept them because the uh, universe is in charge of those results for some reason. So the universe is determining if it's going to go left or right, A or B, up or down, whatever it is that's on your mind. I have no idea what it is. For many of you, it's different things. But it's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. So accept those results, whether you like them or not, accept them because it's meant to be that way for everyone's highest good. <clears throat> Ooh, damn. A lot of people will be pissed off. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, a lot of people will not be happy. But um, it shows that it is just that a lot of people are blinded by something that is uh, being displayed as the truth, but it's not the truth. So a lot of people will misunderstand the results. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, look at this. A lot of discord, a lot of disagreement between groups of people. This is very weird reading. Ultimately, the universe is showing you that whatever it is that you're waiting on is supposed is going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Okay? So, uh this is higher calling. Yeah, no need to worry about things that are beyond your control individually, okay? No need to worry. Yeah, I have no idea what this is, but let's see. Let's see more for you. I feel two more for Libra. Message and you being, yeah. So this is you waiting on something of importance to you personally. Waiting for important answer or message to be delivered. You're waiting, you're waiting. You're waiting for that answer or for that communication. You're waiting for it. You're strong. You're strong. You feel tired, but you're strong and ready to accept whatever the answer is. Very strange reading. Libra, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you, especially in the month of November. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Libra, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there.